Welcome back, everybody. Well, we uh, we showed how to store your nuts under the hood of your car <laughs> yeah, a little should, while ago. That What's story on Totally story? Serious. <laughs> we'll show you that story a little later on today when a squirrel stored a bunch of them under the hood That's of the car. Crazy. But we're going to do the proper way for That's humans, right? right? And what we're going to get them, them before the squirrels do. Okay. Not all of them. we got to leave them some, too. Okay. But, um, walnut, I like to so talk this is about, a walnut. We, all, we like to work with things in season, not only in our kitchen, eating seasonally, but I also like to get people thinking about creating seasonally as well because there's lots of uh, opportunities with things that are in season uh, during different times of the year that we can use as art supplies and in any of our creative endeavors. So, so these are more than just a food source. Creatables. Okay. That's right. Okay. And we're going to work with black walnuts today because they are uh, in season and chances are if you're walking under a black walnut tree uh, it, you're going to you may get bonked on the head because they mm. get ripe and then they, they start mm. to fall to the ground and when they fall to the ground that's when you want to collect them instead of picking them off the tree. Oh, really? So we collect them. Why as is they, that? They're just easier to pick. And usually they're at the right, they're at the right ripeness. Okay, okay. You can kind of work with them by the time they fall off of the tree. So, um, and we're going to show you a couple of things. They're also, it's a fabulous nut, uh, very nutritious. Um, it has a really distinct flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And once you eat the black walnuts, it's hard to go back to the English walnuts. They kind of feel... The English they walnuts are what dead. you usually get in the store? Yes. Okay. Yes. So All right. I didn't know that. Just, they have a really rich um, taste to them. So they're a fabulous nut. Um, they store really well. And they're just, it's, it's a little bit... Um, you know, it's messy. So instead of just, it's, they're just, they're messy to work with. So instead of just cussing out the fact you have all these walnuts all over, you have to clean up, Scoop use them. them up, put them in a bucket. Them. Exactly. And then what, so the first thing we're going to focus on is the edible side of the walnut. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to work on the creatable side and Got show it. you what you can do with the holes and so forth. So why don't you start cutting some of these open? So we've collected these and some of them, um, even they, they'll get really dark and be really squishy. So th this does not look they're black. Still, they're still good. So take the app and then take the nut out. Okay, this is what it looks like inside. There you go. All right. And then we're going to set the holes aside. Okay. And some of these, you may open them up <clears throat> and... It's just like a, almost like a tangerine or an orange is what this feels exactly. like. Exactly, or an home. avocado. Yeah. Some of these you may open up and if they're, they're starting to really um, ripen inside there, there may be some little like worms. Oh, really? From whole flies or something like that. They are not, the nut is very well protected in there. Don't so worry don't, about don't it. Don't worry then. about that. I do toss those um, for what I'm going to make. We're going to make stains here in a mm -hmm. little bit. But um, I toss those because I don't want to deal with it. If it has know. worms in it, get rid of it. Yeah, okay. get rid of them. But it doesn't hurt the nut by any means. All so. right, so this is what you have. Exactly. Now, what do you so have to do with this then? Then, what, once you have all of these nuts, you're going to put them in. And, um, you want to rinse them off good and I like to put them just in a five gallon bucket and just really power wash them with your hose mm -hmm. and kind of get all of that loose stuff off. The gunk off of exactly. it. Rinse them a few different times. Um, you can do it in the sink as well. Just kind of soak them and try to get all of that off of there. Wear gloves unless you want your hands to have a nice golden <laughs> color because they, it, they it stain stains. very uh, very easily. And then what you're going to do is you're going to let them put them on a rack and let them dry out. Just, just by let themselves. them dry out because you How want them to dry a little take? bit before they're easier to crack. Because right now, if we were to try to crack all of these open, mm -hmm. it's a lot more difficult and all a lot right. more work. Here's one um, that I, one of them that I had just recently collected. How long cut, do they have to dry? I, I cracked these last night and put them in. Um, I just used the hammer. So you can, and the nut is ready. But let them dry out a little bit, and sometimes you know what do you some mean people by, let them dry by, for a few mean, months because a they few stay. Months. They stay in the nut. They'll stay in the shell and stay fresh. You can put them um, so they they have kind of a long shelf life. Can I eat this? So, yeah, absolutely. Straight out of the shell. Oh, that is a distinct, different flavor yeah, it's than you it's get in the strong, store. It's nice. It's but it's I think they're very unique flavor. Yeah, I love them, and I don't. You know, Real you don't. Sweet. You don't have to do a lot of fuss. You know, people tell you that you got to drive over the with your car to get them to just. You well, know, I do that anyway. It's a nice so. thing. Sit outside, get them all cut, get the holes removed, let the nut. You know, rinse them all off, let them dry out, and then you can use a hammer or if you have one of those old style nutcrackers, mm -hmm. that works nice too to get a nice even. All split right. and then the nuts not all broken up. You'll you'll have a few where the your piece your nut meats are small. Right. <laughs> because until you realize there's a certain way to hit them. With you'll the get the hang of it. You'll get the hang of it. It opens up, yeah, and okay. you'll get a bigger. You'll section get a routine. You'll get a system that comes out of it exactly. All right. All right, and then so what you the can nut. do with these is um, they're fabulous in cookies and breads. They store beautifully in the freezer. So once you get them all um, out of the shell, just put them in Ziploc bags, store them in the freezer, and then you can take them out, use them as you need. You can also uh, toast them to kind of crisp the must up a little bit so but they're um they keep very well mm -hmm. in the refrigerator and they also keep in the shells 
as well. I think my grandpa would put them all in a bucket and just kind of let them sit mm -hmm. for a while and then, you know, use them as he wanted. I can't get over the d distinct difference in flavor. Yeah. Of these to the English walnuts. They're really, nice. The They're really nice in a salad with a mm -hmm. vinaigrette, like with pears or apples. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the nut is, is fabulous. Then the holes that we've removed, now we can use these to create a beautiful uh, walnut stain for woods, for papers, for fabrics. You can use them in your art projects. So this color will so, turn into that? Exactly. Okay. What we're going to do is cut these, kind of slice them up into smaller sections. Mm -hmm. And then there's a few different ways that you can make the stain. Okay, so one we just of my, cut up. One of my favorite ways is to cut them up into smaller pieces, and then I put mine in the dehydrator, or you could put them in an oven to dry them out. So they come out like and that? And then, yes, we have... See. So that concentrates it. So they, it just dries them out really nicely. Then you're going to put them in your little, if you have a spice grinder or a coffee grinder, Okay. put them in there and just grind them up. You'll probably you need to, but it's starting to, yeah. But you see you how can, that's you starting what, to get, and you you're going to end up you with You can see this what's happening here. It's, it's turning into a powder. Beautiful powder. Okay. Now, I like this because then you can just store the powders and mix your stains as you need them. So. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't can, think about that. You know, get them all ground up and store the powders, and then what you'll do is you'll add hot water to this. You can also play with some oil-based recipes to create kind of an oil-based stain. And then just reconstitute them. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so this is really a nice way to, and it doesn't take up a lot of storage. Never would have thought of it. Use it as you need it, and this lasts indefinitely. But, but this color will turn well. dark like Exactly. That. Okay. So on you put some, you can mix uh, hot water with it then and then how much of the powder you put you know changes up the intensity of the color so Got you it. can alter that and I kind of find now what would you use this a stain for for wood you or can use it in wood I also love to use it um, in mixed media projects so if I've got fabrics and you can you can kind of soak it in the walnut stain you can create like this tie-dyed look sure. with the walnut stains and yeah. get some really cre really cool patinas with that um, you can use it on your wood you can also use it on uh, papers put it in a little spray bottle and if you work with papers or you do scrapbooking or anything like that um, you can put it on there as well what a you can unique also idea just soak the holes in water and put them on the stove and let them boil for mm -hmm. uh, like an hour or so and then let them st let it steep I let it steep for a couple of days you can just put it in with a jar of water you know the more holes um, and just cover it with water the richer the darker that, get, yeah, yeah. the intensity of okay. the color so they're easy to work with they're just messy but they're delicious and so don't be don't be create pitching some really these. fabulous stains yeah. with them as well so uh, so when they fall off the trees look them in as don't a cut treat them out. that's yeah. what a lot of people do because they oh they're going to stain the driveway and they yeah. make such a mess but yeah. Pick them up and you put them to good use. Great, and also you can juggle them too. <laughs> That's right. So Wear your gloves though, or you're going to be nice and brown. <laughs> Perfect. Well, great ideas, Michelle. So, People good want stuff. more ideas Don't like store this. Them under your hood. If they want more ideas like this, where can yeah, they go? Yeah, join in the conversation online at uh, at Remake Life, and we're always sharing ideas, and we'd love to have you share some of yours as well. So. That's great. All right. Thank you so much. It's uh, 8:22 right now, and.